Okay, so the DLC for Injustice 2 is upon us, and I know everyone has seen the Red Hood DLC. I'm already liking this character. He's quickly becoming my second most favorite character in the game, behind Darkseid, of course. And I like the way that he looks. I like his super moves. Of course, everyone's whining about him having zoning properties. And of course, you have all these new people that haven't touched a traditional fighter in their life. And Injustice 2 is their first game. Uh, they just don't understand. But amidst all this complaining, it actually got me to thinking about characters that could realistically be added into Injustice 2. Like we could request them. It would take them four to six months to add them in a the game. And the first character that I want to see from the Arkham City universe he has importance to two characters in the game already so there's enough reason there is Raish Al Ghul from Arkham City he looks like he would blend seamlessly into Injustice 2 I can already see his super move being a little uh, shadow clones or whatever jumping from the sky and then the real Raish Al Ghul coming down the middle and just slashing the character the ribbons with his shimitar he looks like he's ready for the Injustice 2 graphics engine. Just please put him in the game. He has importance to Damian Wayne, of course. That is, that's his grandfather. Of course, he has his relationship with Batman. There's no reason that this character cannot be added. And right behind him, the second character that I'm going to recommend be added into Injustice 2 would be Talia Al Ghul. Might as well get the whole family in. Talia Al Ghul. I don't know what I, I I can see her fighting style being a mix of the sword fighting style with maybe some black canary moves. Of course, just use her model from uh, Arkham City and just like update it with Injustice 2 graphics. Do whatever you have to do. I want this character in the game. Let's see who else could I see added into Injustice 2. I don't think I I would want personally. I would want Deathstroke. But we really don't need Deathstroke. It would just be another dead shot. Personally, if it was me and if it was just for me, I'd want Deathstroke. But eh, I could see reason enough for him not to be added. Uh, the, la the third character that I'm going to recommend is based upon rumors. Now, we've gotten rumors of Static Shock being put into the game. Well... We don't know whether that's going to be true or not, but if Static Shock does get added into the game, you have to bring his best friend, Richie, the tech guy that, you know, later on he gets his own superpowers and he becomes like the little tech suit gizmo gadget using guy. You have to bring him. You bring Static, you got to bring his best friend. That's just it. Now, from the Superman verse... There's only a couple of characters that I could see fitting into the Injustice 2 universe. Uh, first one I'm going to name here is Toy Man. We haven't had Toy Man before. Another gadgets user. Maybe you can uh, give him the Lex Luthor treatment and give him a giant mech suit. But I would want to see Toy Man in the game in some way, shape, or form. Now, the second character from the Superman verse that I want to see into Injustice 2 is Livewire. Livewire, she would potentially be the uh, better version of Black Adam. Of course, she, you know, she's a thunder elemental. She's a lightning elemental, electricity, however you want to refer to that as. Um, there's no reason that she shouldn't be in the game. Like, you, you just can't pull all from the Batman verse. You have to pull some from the Superman verse. And I can see Livewire fitting into the game. Let's see, who else? Oh, there's one character that has not been talked about since her debut in the animated series, Superman the Animated Series, that I feel like she would fit. And there's no harm in having more Kryptonians, as long as they play differently. So this character that I'm about to name, a lot of you might not be familiar with her, but Mala. Now, Mala is a Kryptonian that was sealed away into the Phantom Zone and uh, Superman let her out. So if uh, they ever did like a story DLC or a story update where Superman escapes the uh, Phantom Zone, I would expect Bala to be a character that aids his escape or comes out with him. That's just something I want to see. Now, there's no other characters that I can really think of. So let me know who you want to see in the game uh, in the comment section below. I do intend on tweeting, uh, tweeting this video at Ed Boone or sending it to him or finding some official means to get this into his ears and eyes. 
again let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell and become a true perfectionist so that you get all the video updates from this channel i mean you're a perfect being super itachi and i will see you in the next video side wins.